Okay, I'm literally giving up. I've tried to make this video for you 10 times. So now I'm just gonna point to what I did because I can't seem to get it right. So anyway, this is what I was doing for you, uh, was putting my CFES and distal radius fracture concept together, um, talking about my seams. So the red skin, it looks like a chaotic mess, I get it. The red skin is the volar side and the blue is supposed to represent the dorsal side and where they come together, okay? So we have all the nerves on here. We have lateral and medial antibrachial cutaneous nerves up this way, up the wrist. We have median nerve and we actually have, um, we'll make this SBRN, okay? And I tried to do um, SBRN and dorsal cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve. I wrote them in red. They should technically be in blue because it's the blue side is them. Okay, so where these two, the top and the bottom layer of skin join, I think is a big deal when it comes to CRPS. So we have our, in the purple right here, we have our uh, branches, we have our um, uh, creases, so distal palmar crease and there's a thumb crease. And then this little crease, which I always find fascinating, if you look at your hand, you'll notice that little crease, those three fingers kind of sit in that crease. So that's why I always think that they always shift, the middle finger always shifts with the with the little one um, and the ring because of the way it kind of sits in this uh, crease. So anyway, here is the cast, representing the cast. And then these orange points right here are representing where the seams can get crushed. Um, so right here, is a big area for me and over here, and I have a couple of really good videos on this, how patients have even crushed themselves in a cast. Um, I had one lady who was um, went to bed, actually she was in a splint, took a sleeping pill, went to, to sleep, and um, didn't wake up and crushed her ulnar nerve and her radial nerve, and you can see she puffed up like a balloon. So remember, the cutaneous nerves are reading information to tell the brain. But the brain doesn't know what that is, but it has to respond with some kind of motor response. So maybe it's going to swell up or it's going to tighten up. It's going to do something to protect that area. Um, so once it gets like so irritated right here, it's in this chronic cycle of just, you know, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to keep swelling. So we've got to get these casts and these braces and these splints that we're making off these people as soon as we can change them up. Do maybe you have to put another one on, but we have to pay attention to the fact that if they're so swollen that these seams are getting stuck. This is the ulnar styloid. This is the base of the thumb. This location is a massive location where we make our thumb splints. Um, or we have a splint that rubs back and forth along this lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve or even irritates the SBRN. Um, and the skin actually gets tight right in here too between the bony prominences, the radial styloid and the ulnar styloid on the top side. And that skin gets stuck a lot too especially if you have a distal radius fracture and you have a plating. So all of this skin, so if we use this as an example, say there was a distal radius fracture here and we kind of had a scar somewhere in there. That scar is pulling all everything this way, which that in itself can be tractioning over here on these areas too. So everything's getting pulled in. And now we've got problems with the, the um, sensory branches of the nerves, the pathway up higher in the arm. So that's the concept. If they're swollen, we've got to get these things changed out. We've got to treat them by freeing up these seams in these locations. And that would be like taking your tools and going this way and opening everything up, spreading the hand, not aggressively stretching the fingers when everything is stuck there. So this would be my target when I'm treating those. Um, so hopefully that helps you when you're, when you're treating your patients with that.